is and and this has to all these have to be confirmed obviously but i mean because nowadays you can just create any type of video with ai so i have to say that but i thought that this was a super interesting video and probably a lot of you have seen it by now um, but take a look at this and as of today there is not one member of the united states military who is in active duty in a combat zone in any war zone around the world the first time this we're century. what but let's understand so where the fuck are we right now <laughs> and as of today do i need to play it again Do I need to play it again? <laughs> Let's play it again for Clifford. And as of today, there is not one member of the United States military who is in active duty in a combat zone in any war zone around the world. The first time this we're country. what? But let's understand. So where the fuck are we right now? <laughs> <laughs> and as of today. Damn, Clifford disrespecting y'all. Clifford, why would you disrespect our conversation like this and say nobody wants to get involved in the conversation? These are the ones who are easily influenced. No, Clifford, we have these conversations all the time and we go back and forth. We don't always agree with each other. We have these conversations not only on the show, but our community that has consistently shown up for the last over a year now we have these conversations offline as well as online. We don't come here just to agree. We come here to look at things objectively. But what you're so surprised by and maybe taken back by is the fact that a lot of it is, how can I put it? Maybe you're just not used to seeing a black man call out the Democratic Party. I don't know what it is. Maybe you're not used to people being able to call out both sides and to say, oh, yeah, the Republicans were wrong with that. Democrats were wrong with that. Let's look at Jill Stein. Let's look at RFK Jr. Let's look at what's really happening rather than just believing what MSNBC says. So I don't know, you know, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what y'all think. I don't know what y'all think. But just looking at the clip, because that's what we should pay attention to. Let me not do too much with Clifford. Um, look at this clip. She clearly just said something in a debate where this is the type of situation that I'm talking about, where if we're not informed, then we will not know about this. And what's so sad is we will send this type of video to a Democrat. We will send this type of video to a Democrat just like Clifford. I, I'm, I'm, can we have an exercise? Can we all have a homework assignment? Send this clip to a Democrat. And I guarantee you one of the answers that you'll receive. One is going to be total disregard. The other is going to be, well, they all lie. That's what happens when you, you ever realize when you talk to a liberal or a Democrat that they have no problem calling out Trump specifically. Trump is a liar. Trump is a liar. He's a terrible person because he's he lies and he can't be trusted. But then once you say something about or, or show them clearly Kamala lying, what will they say? All politicians lie or they'll just totally disregard it. <laughs> Why wasn't this fact checked by the moderators? Good question, Alana. I don't understand. But apparently that was the, and, and I'm waiting to hear proof. That's why I didn't address it earlier, but I'll say it. Allegedly that there was a whistleblower that came out that said not only did Kamala receive the questions before, but there was also an agreement that Trump would be fact checked and she wouldn't. That's the problem when you, and, and like I, I have to say allegedly, because it hasn't come out yet, and um, I've heard some crazy stories about what happened to the person that came out that I don't even want to say. And I don't even want to repeat unless I get some confirmation. But the thing is, because we all saw the debate and saw how it was conducted, it's extremely believable that she did already have the questions and that if she if she was told that Trump would be fact checked and not her, because that's what we saw with our own eyes. <laughs> like we don't have to listen to right wing media to see what we saw with our own eyes as we're watching it. She was not fact checked. This is something where she should be fact checked on. And Clifford, I recommend that you look at what show did we go over all the fact checking last week? I think it was Wednesday. Clifford, going to ask you to check out our show on Wednesday. From Wednesday it was our wind down Wednesday. You'll be able to see the entire show. Just click on the lives and you will see as we broke down all the we fact checked the fact checkers. And we fact-checked and put pressure on the fact-checkers and called them out for not fact-checking 
Kamala. Perfect situation like this. All right, so let's um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's move on to, hold on, what's this next video that I wanted to show y'all? What was the next video that I wanted to show y'all? Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. We got one of our favorite con favorite contributors coming to the stage. Hold on. Where is Joy Reid at? 